Let me go to uh, Bethesda. We go, Janie. Good morning. Good morning. To your knowledge, are you a serial killer? <laughs> um, not yet. No, I'm just not kidding. yet. Not yet. Oh okay. my god. But, and this That's is why I asked, one. Janie. So let's pretend this is your this is your Netflix documentary. And the weird thing Janie did was. I mix my orange juice with my coffee every morning. Serial killer! Oh, why? Wait. How did you learn how to do that? No, so it started off as a prank. Like, my brother tried pranking me by putting orange juice in my coffee, and then I was like, wait, this isn't half bad. So I just continued doing it. And okay. is, this, is this something, Janie, where, like, if you go to, like, a good old Denny's, you'll do it there, and we only do this in the comforts of our own home? Mm. Comforts around home. I did it once at Starbucks, and they were kind of like, "What?" So yeah. I never did it again. Listen, right. now the Starbucks yeah. employee is probably, "Please, God, don't be a new secret menu item. <laughs> Please, don't make me make this all the time." <laughs> Janie, you are in the running. I'm gonna put you on hold. Okay. Thank you. Hold on one second. Uh, somebody texted uh, a silly color trait I have is I play The Sims. I create a jail in the basement of the house. I lure unspe- unsuspecting Sims neighbors there and lock them in. Oh my! Oh my, oh my God! That all right. is. Um, Next level Sam, right there. Something. Good morning, Sam. Hi, good morning. Now, I can't hate because I kind of I do the same thing, but let's just say <laughs> it's your documentary, Sam, and it turns out Sam also did. Um, when I take shots, I hold it in my mouth for a few seconds before I can swallow it. Oh, my God, yeah. you are a serial killer. killer. I, I, and I don't, it's, it's like, Sam, well, for me, Sam, uh, I take a shot, I forget that it's supposed to go down the hatch, and then I'm like, oh, it's still there, you know? It's, it's like a mental thing. Yeah, wow. I even do the thing which was like squeeze that. your hand like in the fist to make it easier, but it, Ooh, it's... I'm- uh, the damn, the damn tequila is what does it every oh, time. Sam, hold it. on one second. You were in the running. Thank you for calling. Mm. See, all of these, like, would you be surprised? Uh, let me go. Uh, wait, Maritza. Maritza, what do you do? Um, so what I do is for my roommates, um, I'll hide. We have, like, a window alcove and other places. I'll, like, hide in the dark and put my both of my legs behind my head and just, like, wait for them to come in, and then I'll scare them. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, That's and hilarious. I also have a death sister, so I also have like, if I were a serial killer, um, since I've an uh, identical twin sister, you know, I can always blame it on her. <sighs> I love that. Yeah, actually. that's next level. Okay. Dude, identical twins have they don't have the same fingerprint, do they? I don't believe so, but they have the same okay. thoughts. No, the same DNA. Okay, and, and can you guys communicate telepathically? Um, no, but we used to have our own language when we were kids, and so we would get away with stuff. But um, so I just being mischievous and like yeah oh oh okay and if we if we see guys at a wizards game uh courtside we will suspect something happened perhaps Uh, maritza hold on one second you are in the running if you have a seal killer trait 877-995-4681 the best one you're going to jingle ball (laughs) let's go to, to becca and reston good morning becca hi good morning so you and your brother do what um so we play this game called dead body oh we made it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we used to watch just a lot of crime shows, like law and order type shows that are really predictable. And, you know, it's just like two people wandering down an alley or like jogging through the woods or something. And there's always like a moment where you're just like, oh, they're about to find a dead body. Sure. Um, and then they and then they do. Um, so we play that game in real life where we're just like out and about. And if we see something like an alcove or something, we just go dead body because that's where the dead bodies are going to uh, be. Have you guys, right. How long you been doing this for? <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't know. How old is Law & Order? That oh, long? I feel like it's like oh, 15 wow. years old. That yeah. show's been on for... They have yeah, solved nearly forever. every possible case there could be. If you just, yeah, so if have we. <laughs> I was going to say, if y'all did this as kids, I'd be freaked out. Especially, yeah. did, you, did you grow up in Reston? Uh, no. Okay, I was going to say in Reston that you for sure make you stand out a little bit. Becca, I think... I know. It's a little easier. No, well, yeah, that's true, too. Becca, you are, we'll see you at Jingle Ball, okay? No way. Yes. Awesome. And when you see us, just come so up and, and yell dead body. No. Perfect. Yeah. And actually, no, maybe. I'm sure that there will be a lot of places there. So oh, like, yeah. Oh, well, Dick, yes. But and, and as, as I say it, maybe we shouldn't yell dead body at the arena because yeah. I feel like that might ruin other things. But Becca, hold on one second, okay? Thank you so much. No, thank you. Dead body.